On Sunday, as the nation watched Jenny Morrison stand up for her man, there's one member of the Morrison family who's been hidden from the cameras. Jenny and Scott's 19-year-old son. We've tracked him down in Hawaii, and he's agreed to talk to us in his first exclusive interview. Meet ScoMo Jr. <coughs> Mango margarita. Mum's recipe. Sick. Your first name is ScoMo. Yep. Your parents named you ScoMo. Scomo Morrison. But everyone calls me Scomomo. Well, Scomomo. The first question, why are you speaking now? I don't know, you guys tracked me down. I don't want to be here. Hey, Scomomo, come on, we're doing bucket bombs. Hey, I'll be there in a second. No photos. Can we get this quick? I've got somewhere to be. Well, as the son of Australia's Prime Minister, the country needs to know whether you think your dad should be re-elected. No, they don't. Look, I'm just his son. Why should that matter? You know, vote for my dad based on his policies. OK, don't do that. Vote for my dad based on what he stands for. Yeah, OK, I don't know what he stands for. Look, just... Can you ask me a question about his curry or something so we can get this over with? What's his curry like? It's OK. Like, it's tasty, but I, I wouldn't use it to choose a government. You haven't seen the 60 Minutes interview, have you, Scamomo? Wasn't invited, didn't watch it. So you don't know what your mum was talking about when she said that she felt sick to her stomach? No, was it about trans kids being discriminated against at school? No. The Billa Wheeler girls who grew up in detention? No. Allegations of sexual assault at Dad's workplace? No. Age care crisis? No. Nope. Not that. Or was it Dad's close friendship with Brian Houston, Uncle Brian? No. Gee, what made Mum sick to her stomach? Was it one of Dad's curries? No, it was a text message from one of his own colleagues calling him a psycho. Just being mean to Dad's pretty sickening as well. Despite a happy childhood, when his father became Prime Minister, cracks started to appear in their relationship and Scomomo was removed from family photos. And I guess the final straw was... And this is hard for me to say, but um, I, I can hold a hose. Oh, you can physically hold a hose? Yeah. And one day Dad got home early from work and he caught me watering the garden and he said, no son of mine is going to hold a hose in this house. And he kicks me out. So you are basically the black sheep of the Morrison family. Yeah, I'm more like the Novak Djokovic, like initially welcomed and then part of a full government plan to kick me out of the country. And, and that explains why he banished you to Hawaii? Yeah, well, Dad's used to sending kids to islands. Just finally, everyone is talking about the ukulele. Oh, he didn't. How does that make you feel? Seeing your family have fun without you. I'm getting a little bit emotional, Skamomo. Yeah. Like, I was born in April, in, in Cuba. I'm the April son that he's singing about. I think he's just letting me know that he's still there for me. Just finally, Skamomo, if you could say anything to your dad right now, what would it be? Go Sharkies. Take me to the April sun.